So recently while I was getting my last haircut, a thought came to me. The people that we pay the barbers to make sure that our hair is always in check have so much power over us, literally. They can either make or break our entire look within a matter of seconds and it can affect us for the next two to three weeks and we will just have to live with it. So with that said, I always try to make sure that the relationship between me and my barber is always great. And so with that thought in mind, I did ask him and other people who have cut my hair in the past, what are some things that they wish all of their clients would do or and or keep in mind to make sure that their overall experience in the chair is great for not only the barber, but for themselves? Because if the barber is taken care of both, you know, before and after the experience, then your haircut will look all the more better when you leave the chair. All of those tips I'm going to be giving you guys on today's video coming up. Welcome back to HG Fashion. If you're new here, my name is Zach Fobbs and today we're going over the five things that your barber wishes that you would do before you hit the chair, starting with the first one and that's make sure that your hygiene is in check. I cannot believe I have to go over this with you guys, but apparently it's a problem that my barber and a lot of other barbers have with their other clients and it's ridiculous. Make sure before you go to the shop, that you are indeed showered and you are at least smelling decent before you hit the chair. There's nothing worse for a barber than to be up and close trying to make sure that, you know, he is nice and straight with your, you know, hairline or he's trying to add some good detail to your hair and you're just smelling like a locker room and he's just not wanting to be all that close to you for that long period of time. Just make sure that you're doing the basics, you're showering, you're brushing your teeth because you're going to be talking to him, he's not going to be one smelling your breath and make sure you're putting on deodorant and just a little bit of cologne just so that you're not overpowering him but at the same time you're smelling nice and you're smelling like something that he would you know not want to you know be all like this trying to cut your hair just make sure that you're doing the basics guys i cannot believe i had to make this tip for this video but apparently it is a problem number two do not use a ton of product in your hair especially before you get into the chair you want to make sure that yes you are keeping up the very basics for your hair because you're all going to be out in public you want to make sure you're not looking like a hot mess and I get it, but at the same time, we don't need to use an excessive amount of pomade, gel, or whatever you use for your hair, especially before you go to the barbershop. It's like the same thing like when you're about to go to the dentist. It's kind of defeats the purpose of you vigorously brushing your teeth and using mouthwash and using floss for like the first time in months. It just defeats the purpose. You're gonna go there to get your teeth cleaned and your, or in this case, get your hair cut looking nice and fresh anyway. So just use the bare minimum to make sure you look presentable and don't use an excess amount of product because that overuse of product is gonna be very damaging to the clippers and the, all the tools that he uses to make sure that your hair is looking very nice. Number three, you need to study and you need to learn what I like to call some chair etiquette. Basically the way that you're behaving when you're in the chair while your barber is cutting your hair. You need to make sure that you're holding as still as possible. You don't want to be, you know, moving around, trying to turn your head, trying to talk to him, especially when he has a bunch of sharp objects around your head or around your neck when he's shaving your beard, because that could turn into an emergency scene very quick. Or at the very least, you could have a bald spot leaving that chair, which we all do not want. Just make sure that you know you're holding still as much as possible. You're not really fighting him when he's trying to turn your head. Just make sure that you are moving in the direction that he wants you to so that he can get the best angles and the best movement out of that entire experience to make sure that your hair is looking the best that it can when you leave the chair. Number four, always schedule an appointment. If your barber is good, then having a walk-in is probably just the worst thing that you can do for yourself and your time and your barber's time and the pressure you're putting onto him without him knowing that you're gonna be coming into the shop that day. It's just when you make an appointment, he knows when you're coming in, so he knows what to expect for that sort of traffic and he knows what type of feel that he needs to be going for when he's cutting your hair. It's not just put onto him on the spot. 
And not to mention, if you do this on a regular basis, he's gonna be expecting you within two to three weeks or so, he's gonna make sure, that, okay, cool, Zach is coming to the shop, so I need to make sure that I have Zach's hair, his style in mind, whatever I'm coming into the shop today. It'll just make your life and your barber's life so much easier. He'll be less stressed while he's cutting your hair. Therefore, like I said a thousand times in this video, your hair will be looking amazing. And the last thing that you need to do, especially when you have a very good barber, is to make sure you're tipping your barber. Again, this is one of those tips I cannot believe I have to say this to you guys, but a lot of you guys, you're very stingy. You know, you just pay the basic fee, which is like 20 to $30 for a haircut, and you just pay just that, or you give him a measly $2 tip. No, you need to give your barber something that he is due, especially if he is a very good one. I don't like to toot my own horn, but I like to give a nice generous tip to my barber because like I said in the beginning of this video, he can make or break my entire look. And if I just one day decide to be a cheapo and just pay him that straight fee for my haircut, then I might never never know this, but his right hand that he, I know that this dominant hand might get a little shaky when he ever, I'm next in the chair. So with that in mind, guys, just make sure that you're not being so stingy when it comes to tipping your barber and give the man something that he at least is owed. So what are some other great tips that you have used when it comes to the relationship between you and your barber that has made your overall experience much better than you would have ever expected to? Let me know in the comment sections below and I'll be in conversation with you guys over the next couple hours after I drop this video. But if you like this video and you learned something from it, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and help us build the HB community. And if you follow me on Instagram, admirers to HB Fashion, you will know that once we hit 500 subscribers on YouTube, I'll be running a giveaway on Instagram and so that you can guys can win another Sprezzo box. And I might throw in some extra things or two in there, but you'll have to subscribe to the channel in order to see what that is. But with that said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.